recycling stainless steel. Well, stainless steel is not, when you take a look at this teapot, when you take a look at this tea piece, pharmaceutical tea piece, it is not exactly what we associate with a recycled material, but actually it is. If we are a production company, we have some remains from cutting the steel, from welding the steel, from um, punching some holes and so, or if we just have a piece of steel like this tube, which has obviously su suffered from corrosion, we, we don't need them anymore and what to do about the, uh, with these ones. The very good thing about the stainless steel, it contains a lot of very nice elements. It contains, of course, iron, at least 10.5% chromium, and usually, in this case as well, a bit of nickel, some molybdenum and so. And all these elements are actually perfectly recyclable. So what happens to these pieces when we don't need them anymore, is actually we put them on a truck and then we drive it to the steel mill, where they melt it together, add some, adjust the uh, alloy composition with some additional elements, and then we're actually able to make fresh steel. So using scrap steel, we have a number of advantages. At first, we don't have to dig for more oil, or we don't have to dig up from the ground nickel or chromium or manganese or whatever, simply because it's all in the scrap. The second very good advantage is that ore, we have to reduce it. We have to go from, for instance, ferrous or ferric uh, salts to the fresh steel. It's usually done by carbon. Um, we don't have to do that anymore. It saves a lot of carbon dioxide, uh, which we usually get out of this process, and it saves certainly a lot of energy. Then, um, we don't have to refine the steel. All the ore comes with a lot of impurities, comes with a lot of, it could be sulfur, it could be phosphorus, it could be carbon. And they, these are elements we don't really want it in the stainless steel. So why not use a piece of scrap, a lot of scrap, um, where we have already refined the steel. So in many, many ways, it's, it's, uh, it's a very good advantage. When you have a bunch of scrap and you need, need to sell it to, because it's actually got a value, you need to sell it to the mill, then the, or to the scrap dealer, then the first, uh, we say, where, the, where you first try to, you can say, divide the di different grades, that's with regards to the nickel content. Nickel is the most expensive single element in the stainless steel, and with a simple magnet, we are actually able to distinguish the high nickel alloys from the virtually nickel-free alloys. For instance, the body-centered cubic, the ferritic structure, which is nickel-free, it's strongly magnetic, whereas the most common, commonly used one, the austenitic, it's virtually non-magnetic. So with a simple magnet, we're actually able to sort these two from each other. And then we drive them, of course, separate to the mill, where it's once again, melt it separately, the nickel-free ones on the one side, and in another beaker, we have the nickel-containing ones. And regardless which, of course, the composition we get by using the scrap never fits entirely with what we want to make. If it's like the acid-proof one, like this tea piece here. Then we adjust the, uh, the composition by adding a little more chromium, by adding a little more nickel, a little more molybdenum, until it exactly fits the acid-proof 4404, which is this one, and then we cast it once again, and we end up making sheets, we end up making tubes, round bars, square bars, whatever we need. The amount of steel being recycled is, is actually quite amazing because around in Europe, close to 90% of the steel, is actually, stainless steel, is actually recycled, which makes stainless steel one of the greenest alloys in everyday use. You cannot see it when, when, when we're using it, when we're making tea in this pot. It doesn't say that it's actually a recyclable metal uh, uh, alloy, but it is. So we, we save a lot of money, which is the reason why all this pays off, simply because it's cheaper, is more environmentally friendly and we save a lot of CO2.